guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a Diwali makeup look for you guys and this is what I came up with it's very neutral but still glamorous and you honestly can wear this to any event it does not need to be Diwali but Diwali is coming up and your girl has got your back I love this I love the cool tones I love the nude lip but you can definitely do a hot pink lip or a coral lip with this and you can definitely rock it I'm also wearing wearing a really glamorous um, Indian Indian outfit. I don't even know what this Indian outfit is called, but it's the ones with like the big uh, bell bottom pants and I love it because it kind of reminds me of the 90s for some reason. I'll actually show you guys what my outfit looks like. Let me show you. I'm using my Nikon camera for this by the way, but yeah, it's so gorgeous. I love it. Um, if you guys want to know where I got this, I actually got this from a little boutique here in my city. Um, it's called, uh, I forgot, I forgot what it's called, but it's really close by and I'll probably like link it for you guys because they got a ton of cute stuff. And if you're living in Hayward, California, where I live, and I definitely recommend you guys shop there because they got stuff that look like this and they're really inexpensive. So yeah. Let's get on to the actual makeup tutorial. We are doing a voiceover today, guys. And I'm not super loud because my son is sleeping in the other room, so I gotta be super quiet. So here, let's begin. I already prepped my skin, primed my skin, and I have applied my foundation on. Now I'm just applying a little bit of concealer to help highlight the points of my face that you know I want to be super clean and bright which of course is under my eyes down the bridge of my nose my chin and my son decided to join me in this video because he woke up and he was all over my makeup table and it was a little it was a little crazy for a second but my husband came to the rescue and took him away while I was done filming so yeah over here I'm contouring and I'm blending out my contour with a fluffy brush if you guys have a hard time blending out your contour zones you can definitely add a little bit of oil to your brush and blend the contour areas you'll get a very smooth finish it'll look very airbrushed and then you can just go over your contour zones with your foundation brush or your beauty blender to help smooth any harsh edges or you know make it look more seamless and that is a little trick that i love to do I always bake my face when I do my makeup because my makeup just looks a lot more put together and more like placed the placement of my products looks more strategic especially if you know you're blending everything out blah blah blah. you want a little more dimension then you definitely want to go ahead and bake with powder and then add your bronzer and blush and all that stuff so that is why I love to bake it just makes everything look a lot more put together so for my brows I love to outline my brows before I fill it in it gives me a nice defined shape before I begin it prevents me from overfilling and overdoing my brows so if you have that little trouble with overdoing it then just outline it before you fill it in and it'll be perfect so for the eyeshadows I'm using the Huda Beauty nude palette I love this palette and I'm only using three shades guys I'm using crave which is the glittery gold I'm going to be using the lace which is the color that I used on the crease to help diffuse everything out and then to add a little bit of dimension I used the color tees right on the outer corner and inner corner to help give a little bit of dimension so there's only three shades that I use from this palette and this look is gorgeous. So this is the color Crave right here. This is the gold shade. I'm obsessed with all the glittery metallic shades in this palette guys because it's so freaking gorgeous and it makes any makeup eyeshadow look that you do 
like a million bucks seriously it looks like you went and got your makeup done i am a professional makeup artist so if you're a professional makeup artist i'm pretty sure that you have a huda beauty palette in your kit so yeah i just love it and a little trick over here that i love to do to enhance my eyes and make it look a lot more bigger and rounder is to just bring that gold or any light shade above the crease of your eye that just helps make your eyes look a lot more bigger and doll-like and um, I'm also adding a black liner a winged liner and adding a little bit of drop shadow under my eyes to help finish the look and I dust away all the powder away from my face and I add some lashes some mascara and BAM the eyes are done and then for my lips I'm using a MAC lip liner can you guys believe that I'm not using my usual lip product like well, I'm using the lipstick and the lip gloss, but my lip liner has changed for this one, which I'm pretty shocked. But yeah, the look still looks beautiful. It's like my usual nude lip, not too much going on, but you guys can definitely rock this with a hot pink or, you know, a coral lip would definitely work with this, but I don't know. I like nudes, so I decided to stick with that. Of course, I added some highlight and I added my spray. I'm drying myself now and voila, that is done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Happy Diwali and um, yeah, please thumbs up. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. By the way, I'm just gonna show you guys my entire process of getting ready here so i'm out and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah!